Now, time for Eye on Business with the Greater Memphis Chamber's President, Phil Trenary. On March 16th, we presented our supplier diversity collaboration with the following guiding principles. Inclusive, transparent, easy, inexpensive, timely, accountable, results-driven, collaborative leadership, and continuous improvement. Creating a comprehensive minority and women-owned business portal is crucial to achieving these principles. Today, we have Andre Gibson of our economic development team to talk more about this portal. Andre, tell us more about how this web portal will help benefit our local MWBE companies. Once implemented, the portal will be a one-stop shop for minority and women-owned businesses to register their business and be able to receive automatic notifications when there's an opportunity from either the government or the private sector side. They'll have links to service providers such as BBA or MMBC uh, that can provide help to their business in growing capacity, and they'll be placed in a database that can allow other companies that are searching for minority and women-owned businesses to contract with. So public and private organizations also benefit from this portal? Yes, we, it was very important to us that this, this portal cover both public and private bid opportunities. When can we expect this MWB portal to be in place? Uh, for the past several months, we've been evaluating all of the existing solutions. We've been doing benchmarks with other chambers and other organizations across the country. Uh, we expect to launch a beta of this portal by July 1st. Thank you, Andre, for joining us today. Please join us next time to hear from Reverend Keith Norman on the B2C or Business to Church focus of this effort. I'm Phil Trenary. See you next week. This has been Eye on Business with the Greater Memphis Chamber's President, Phil Trenary.